Hi, this is Dark Fox127, and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at how to insert small video clips into your Skyrim mod. These short videos are often used for intros and outros for people's mods, and as a lot of people may know, I've used that kind of thing in my own mods, especially Mershkum Estate, and I also use them in another way. I use them as what I like to call time screens. And these are short video clips that appear on the screen once you craft an item using my own crafting system. Now that's something that I'll be going into a lot more detail with with the next tutorial which is for build your own home. Which I've already done a tutorial on but I'm going to be recovering because I've done a bit more of an advanced script. But for today we are just going to be focusing on putting the video clips into your game. And to do this you're going to need a tool called the Rad Video Tools which is on radgametools.com. And this is going to convert your video into a BINK file format, so the extension for short is BIC. And the game uses this to play video files, it won't read any other files, they need to be BIC format. So you're going to want something like an MP4 or WMV, in fact I find WMV tends to work a little better on this. Sometimes I get an error with MP4s. So if you need to convert your files to something else that this is going to be happy with, then you can go ahead and use Format Factory. This is a free bit of software and it's really useful for converting any kind of file format I tend to find. Now once you've installed the RAD tools, you want to go ahead and load those up. And as you can see, I've got my own little WMV file here. And if I just open this up, I'll show you what that is. It's going to be one of my time screens for Corinthia Tower Reborn. And I'm going to need that in BIC format. So I've selected it here, just highlight it. If you double click it ends up trying to play it. So just highlight it and hit BINK it. Now you've got a number of different settings that you can play around with but I find default tends to work okay so I'm just going to go ahead and hit BINK. Now depending on the size of your video it might take a few minutes or in this case for me because it's pretty short it's just going to take a matter of about 10 seconds or so. And it should be done. So I'll just refresh that window there, and I'm going to open that up. And that plays fine. Now we're going to head into the creation kit and place it into our game. Okay, so yet again for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using my own mod, Corinthia Tower Reborn, which is in development at the time of this video. And if you're not sure what that is and you want to know more information, then you can visit my website at www.darkfox127.co.uk. But just for this, I'm going to be placing, as you saw, my little time screen video into this mod. Now, the way that I'm firing this off is via my miscellaneous item, which once it's crafted in my custom crafting system, which is going to be sort of mentioned in my next video, I'm going to fully explain it there. But when I craft an item... So the event specifically for this is on container change. It's going to fire off this one line of code. Now, like I say, you don't need to worry about all of this. This is something I'm going to be covering in my next video in more depth, if you want to know more. But you'll need to just have this one line. Now, if you're not too familiar with scripting, then you might want to go and check out my scripting tutorial series, which I'll leave in the description below, and you'll see on screen now. And so this one line of code is fairly simple. It's game.playbink, hence why we need to use bink files. And then in the brackets, it's got the name of my file. Now you're going to need to go to your data folder and video. And this is where you're going to need to place your files. You don't need to list the whole directory. By default, it's going to look in this one folder directory. And as long as the names match up, you should be perfectly fine. And also make sure you put the extension on there. So .bik, otherwise sometimes it doesn't like to work. The other thing that I really need to mention is for some reason for some people's games it crashes the game when it tries to play these videos. I'm not entirely sure why it does this and I don't really have a solution but in my own mod what I do is I leave an option to have these on or off so I do some alternate way, alternate way of getting my information across that my video does. In this case that's fairly simple because it's just a time screen for how many hours are passing so I'll do it as like a little notification. Now if we just visit the Creation Kit Wiki site for playing these Bink files, you'll see that you have a number of options at your disposal. So you can have it so that the little movie can be interrupted. By default that's off. Uh, should the normal game audio be muted? Should the game music be muted? And should the movie be in letterbox mode? 
Now, let's say that you wanted everything as default apart from, say, the third or fourth option, maybe, and you wanted to set these both to false. As you can see below, what you're going to have to do is put comma, true, comma, true, comma, false, comma, false, whatever order it might be. You're going to have to list all of the ones up to the one that you're trying to get to, because if you just put true, it won't know which one you're on about. It will just assume that it's the next one in the list, if that makes sense. So if I just wanted these two options and I wanted to change them both, then I would be putting true and then false. And you can have a bit of fun with this. You can change a number of different things. But all I'm doing is just simply playing the file and I'm keeping everything as default because that's pretty much fine for me. Now, I've already gone ahead and placed my video into this folder. So once you've done the conversion part from the start of this tutorial video, you'll want to dump it in there. Like I say, as long as it matches up, that should now play. Make sure you compile your script and you're all good to go. So now I'm just going to load up the game and I'm going to show you this little time screen in action. Okay, so here I am in Corinthia Tower and if I just activate the workbench and select something to craft, you'll see that the appropriate time screen shows up. And if I were to go and craft other things, as it is, I can't at the moment because I've actually set the full crafting system up now to require things. But if I was to craft something else that took a different amount of time, then you would see the appropriate time screen show for that. And like I say, that's going to be covered in my next tutorial video. But that is how you get your short videos into Skyrim. And like I say, as long as they don't end up being included in your BSA and they are loose, they should work fine. And hopefully you won't have any problems. And that brings us to the end of this Creation Kit tutorial video, so I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section below. You can also follow me on my social media if you want to know more about Corinthia Tower Reborn and all of that good stuff, then visit my website at www.darkfox127.co.uk. All the links are on there. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.